I don't think it's an exaggeration to say that Itzy's music has substantially dropped in quality in the last year specifically. I mean, there are already like 10,000 video essays on YouTube talking about how Itzy flopped, quote unquote, in 2022. But this video is not going to be about that. It's not about throwing trendy, meaningless words at the group but rather to see how they can regain their standing as the top 4 chan girl group. Now, before anyone comes here all high and mighty trying to call me a hater, let me clarify something. I really like Etsy. I like all of the members, which is very rare for me because there's always one member that I don't like, but this is the only group where I can say that I love all of the members. They just have these attractive personalities that gel so well with each other. I mean, their group dynamic is probably one of the best we've seen so far. And they all have likable personalities. They're all very fun to watch. Their dynamic is fun to watch. Their music, on the other hand, I guess is not targeted towards someone like me. The whole, um, I'm not like other girls, I'm better concept is a little juvenile in my opinion, but I still enjoyed most of it. I mean, it's been refreshing. If you think about their debut with Dala Dala, it was so much fun. Even their latest releases like um, Crazy in Love with Loco and even Mafia in the Morning, they're good songs that you can enjoy. They're not sonically bad. They might be conceptually something that you don't agree with, but they're still good music. They've always made good music. This somehow changed in 2022. And not only did their quality of music drop with each release, let's talk about that first. The fact that they had five releases in one year, out of which two were Japanese releases, one was an English debut song, and two Korean releases paired with a mini album each and a world tour. That was just too much. And this is not the first time we've seen something like this from JYP. I mean, they're notoriously overworked twice to the point where so many of the members have had to take hiatuses due to mental health issues or being overworked. So it's not surprising that they would do that for Ritzy, even for their releases. If we take a look at the Japanese releases. I think it's fair to say that JYP does good Japanese releases. I don't think I can positively say that for a lot of other companies, but Twice has some really good Japanese songs, even Stray Kids for that matter. They have good Japanese releases that they do as a company, but the ones that they released for Itzy, both Voltage and blah, 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 were very low effort. It felt like it was an afterthought that there wasn't creatively that much that was invested in the group. And this pattern kind of translated onto their Korean releases as well. And let's talk about that. Their Korean releases were <laughs> probably some of the most criticized music of last year. And this is the same year that OO by NMIX was in the discussion, which clearly takes the worst song of their title. But Sneakers was a close second. And I remember being on online about the time when they were doing a lot of the pre-release content for Sneakers. And when they released a snippet of the song, people were genuinely convinced that this song was a joke. Like, people were making conspiracy theories about how this was a fake out and that this had to be some form of satire because it was so bad and that JYP was hiding the true title track until the day of the release. So, people did not like sneakers. And yes, it did start off by doing well on the Korean music charts. It did do well initially. But with every passing week, the song kept going down and it did not do well on the international market at all. And yes, people can argue that there are some good B-sides on the mini album. Like, I liked Domino. I don't think it was a bad song particularly. And you also got to see some of 
the vocal talent that we generally don't see from Itzy on a regular basis. But if your title track is bad, I'm sorry, most people are not going to bother listening to the mini album. And that's exactly what happened. If you go to Spotify, Sneakers has some of the lowest views that any of Itzy's songs have seen before. And this didn't translate to album sales. We still saw a rise in album sales for the Sneakers mini album. And this trend kind of continued on with Cheshire as well. Even though when we're talking about Cheshire, it did not do well on the Korean music charts. It did not do well on the international uh, music charts. It just didn't do well anywhere digitally. But when it comes to physical album sales, you saw a rise in physical album sales for both Sneakers and Cheshire. And I think JYP had mentioned once in an interview that they were going to be focusing more on physical album sales for Etsy as compared to digital marketing for the group, which kind of tells you a lot more than it needs to. It tells you that they're not interested in making good music for the group. They're interested in feeding to the already existing fan base because that's what album sales show you, right? Album sales are bought, albums are bought by people who are diehard fans of the group. So people who are already semitzies would buy the albums. And that core fan base continues to grow. Like I said, Itzy is a very dynamic group. They're fun to watch. They're fun to partake with. They're fun. Their performances are great. That's something that's said over and over again. It's not a new take. They're very good performers. So they have these stan attracting abilities and that helps their core fan base grow. But when you see a drop in digital music sales, you can correlate that with musical quality dropping. And I think that's what's happening here. It, JYP's convinced themselves that, oh, their fan base is gonna continue to grow. So we don't have to put two thoughts into their music. And that can be really frustrating to watch because they're talented women. You want them to be able to make good music, music that they're proud of. And that, first of all, their lack of involvement in the creative process is very telling. They're, they don't write their music. They don't have any writing credits. They don't have any production credits, which is very prevalent in their music. So you can see that everything is being spoon fed to them. In terms of their English release as well, I kind of look forward to a lot of K-pop groups English releases. I'm an international fan, I enjoy English music, I just like to see where it goes. And my god was boys like you disappointing. I think it, 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 w it wouldn't even be apt to say that it would fit the 2000s music market of how, because of how misogynistic the music video was. I don't think anyone in the 2000s would have also enjoyed it. It's just so outdated. Sonically, visually, conceptually, it's just not fun. I think probably one of the worst English releases to come. And the fact that it was such a clear Taylor Swift love story knockoff that it kind of made it so much worse that you didn't even try to hide the fact that you were trying to rip off someone else's creativity. And all of this is, first of all, very JYP. I've mentioned this on the channel before. I'm not particularly fond of him and the way he runs the company, and these are trademarks of the way he runs the company. Even with Cheshire, they didn't even bother to promote the album well. I mean, even I didn't bother to listen to the entire album. I listened to the title track, didn't like it, and then just stopped. Heck, I didn't even bother to review it for the channel. And all of this is just showing so much of a lack of musical identity for Etsy. Like, even though that debut era was a little cringy and the, uh, you know, self-love concept was a little overdone, it was still their own. It was a concept and a brand that was very true to them. So by default, you felt more connected to it. And we're noticing a lot of this in the fourth gen girl group market that if you don't have a clear cut musical identity, if you don't have a clear cut concept or a niche that you're sticking to, kind of like Kepler, you will see a downfall as opposed to groups that do have more clarity with their musical sound. 
we did see though i think this was something that was predictable after nmix's debut if you look at jyp's history they do this where they release a girl group that falls in between two generations so with itsy we can draw a lot of parallels with miss a and miss a was a four member girl group and the jyp that came in between wonder girls and twice it felt kind of like an experiment that they were trying to see what concepts and what sounds would work so that when they did release twice they would be able to put would be able to understand the musical market better and i think sadly that's what happened with itsy as well the fact that their sound completely dropped post and mixes their view screams miss a 2.0 it feels like jyp used them as an experimental group used them as an experimental group to see what trends were working in the fourth gen and then they decided to debut their actual fourth gen group and mix this middle child treatment is first of all very sexist because they don't do it with the boy groups they always only do it with the girl groups but also so just so bad it's so bad to do these girls trained for so long and to treat them like this is not okay at all one of the main reasons that i decided to make this video was after i watched mira's video called how it see created the most iconic cinematography in fourth gen k-pop and i recommend everyone check that out that video is so nicely done and a lot of the video essays that she does are just so amazing but she kind of focused on the cinematography of the group like or how they've conceptually done all of their music videos and how in 2022 we saw this clear shift like even during the time where they were experimenting with mafia in the morning and loco they still maintained their identity in their cinematography which drastically changed and i think that is a great starting point for them to change from when we want we're talking about what we want to see from it see in the new year we want them to go back to their roots now this doesn't mean that we want them to do another not shy or another i see they've clearly grown out of that concept themselves they're older now and that would feel really juvenile for them to take on but they can still stick to their self love brand they can still stick to their overall concept from the earlier years of their career we can go ahead from there so i think that's what i want to see from itsy this year i want to see them do what they were doing in their debut era but a little more mature a little more apt for their ages i want their music videos to go back to giving them individual spaces i want them to be able to to express themselves that way and i also want to see some solo pr- projects from them i think the trauma of what happened with suzy and missy lingers over jyp and they don't give their artists enough solo opportunities which can be very detrimental there's nothing wrong with giving solo projects to the group i think it would really help them in building their popularity in the fourth gen So that's what I want from them. I want good music, better music I should say. Um going back to their roots, I don't I don't care if they do self love. Just do it well and more solo projects for them, please. Anyway, that's all I have to say. I hope you liked it and thank you for watching. Bye.